Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we are going to see uh, prog how you can use progress by controls, okay, to show progress uh, from a background worker thread, okay. Like if you are doing some heavy work in, in a background worker thread, we are going to s show you how you can uh, display your progress using the progress by, f progress by controls from the Dev Express. So this is what I'm talking about. You can see uh, the things are being updated at the same time, okay? And they are finishing at uh, different percentages, okay? Then when I start, and then if I click cancel, it cancels it, okay? If I click start, it starts again. Now this is what we are going to see. Uh, so please uh, fire up your IDE. Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to. Uh, prepare your our forms okay uh, we're going to prepare the uh, our forms here you can see I've already prepared mine you can see it's just a normal windows form I've changed the uh, color I've also uh, it is also uh, I've also put there a uh, group box and two buttons and three progress by controls from uh, dev express so please by the if you don't have dev express uh, you can google okay you can google they usually offer the, they usually have a uh, free trial versions also so you can uh, google and install it just works with the visual studio and you just install it and it's simple okay but they are very nice features by there so you can see for instance this progress bar like this is a progress bar and then there is this uh, smart link here if i click it you can see uh in this one i've put the uh, maximum to 50 instead of 100 okay then it is horizontal okay and then uh for this other one uh this progress by three i put the maximum to 70 and then i've changed its progress uh kind to horizontal uh, to vertical the same to this one this one uh, the maximum is 100 the progress kind is uh vertical so please uh let's move to the code and see here I have the start button, uh, the cancel button, and then by the I would if you come to the design, also drag a background worker uh, to your form. Here I've already dragged mine. So come to the properties of the background worker, uh, set its worker reports progress to true, uh, worker supports cancellation also to true. Then check all these background worker, do work, uh, progress change, and run work completed okay then uh, we come to the code now uh, the first thing that we're going to do uh, we're going to define a method okay known as uh, do heavy work this method shall be responsible for doing our heavy work actually it's just um, a matter of uh, it's just we're just going to use thread.sleep just to simulate you can see thread.sleep okay so this one I will s uh, take for like a hundred milliseconds so we shall be simulating doing some heavy work then after that one we shall come uh, to our do work uh, method remember it is inside this do work method where normally uh, that particular heavy work shall be done so the very first thing that we shall do uh, inside our do work uh, uh, method is that we shall write a for loop so say for int i equal to zero i uh, is less than or equal to a hundred i plus plus okay then uh inside our loop uh, the very first thing that we shall do we shall check if the user has pressed the cancel button so i shall say background worker one dot cancellation pending okay if this one is true then we know that uh, the user has pressed the cancel button so uh, we cancel a background worker so say background worker one dot uh, okay no 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 we set uh, the e dot cancel to true so say e dot cancel equal to true okay 
Now that is if the user uh, presses uh, the cancel button, then we just break, of course, outside the out, out of the loop and uh, end it there. Then uh, else, uh, we just continue with our job. So we say do heavy work. Then uh, after that one, we sh have to report the progress. Remember, so say background work one dot report progress. So the progress that we shall be reporting is just that i, which is the integer. So once we've reported it here, uh, th this one will send it to progress change event. Okay. So inside the progress change event, of course, the very first thing that we should want to do is to update the controls. So say progress bar one a dot position equals to e dot progress percentage that's how we update uh, our progress by control so uh, I'll also change this one to 2 sorry progress by control remember we have 3 of them so and then this one to 3 so that one we are through with uh, updating our our p uh, progress bus so the next thing that we shall do is that we shall move to the a background worker run work completed this event shall be raised uh, when the work is over remember the work can be over in different circumstances for instance if the user presses the cancel that will finish the job or if there is an error that will finish the job or if the work is through uh, if the work is finished that one also uh, will finish for us the job so we shall say if e we shall first of all check if the user has pressed cancel so if e dot cancel okay equal to true then uh, we shall just display a message box dot show then I uh, shall just uh, say cancel otherwise uh, okay of course if the user press uh, cancels it we, we will want to reset uh, the progress by controls so I'll put this one to zero we shall now set the positions of the progress bar to zero okay then uh, we shall do the same to a uh, progress bar control too we shall also set it to zero and to do the same to progress by control 3 ok that is resetting that is if the user uh, cancels what about if the user does not cancel if there is an error we shall say if sorry if e sorry sorry if e is not equal if not equal to e dot error now if it is uh na not equal to null that means that we have an error so we shall say uh we, ju we just want to display that error so message box dot show then e dot error dot message uh, that's how we shall uh, display our error otherwise if it is none of the above then it means that our work of course uh, completed successfully so we shall just want to display uh, some message to notify us that we are through finished right yeah that's how we we do it this one i'm seeing i have an error here else if not i think i need another bracket of yeah 
So uh, remember those ones we've just uh, defined our events. Now what we need to do, uh, we need now to come and execute them. So come and say background worker one dot run worker async. This is how we, uh, we execute uh, background worker. Then after executing it, what about if the user presses uh, the cancel button? The first thing that we want to make sure we want to make sure that that particular background worker supports cancellation okay remember ours we we set to support cancellation so i shall say if sorry if worker support i'm trying to use intelligence okay if worker supports cancellation equal to true then what shall we do? Of course, we shall just cancel it. Just say background worker one dot cancel async. Okay, that's how we cancel it. Now, guys, uh, let's run it and see. Okay, here it is. You can see if I press, you can see all of them are getting updated at the same time. Okay, let's wait for it to finish. This one, the first, then the second, then the last one finishes and we're told finished. Okay, what about if I start and then I press cancel, it cancels all of them and resets all of them. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Hope you've learned something. Plus, if you have, you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can comment on this video, you can like it, you can share it with friends and please take care, see you next time.